Scott Rock and Phil from Queensryche, and I would just like to welcome you today to my humble uh, home studio where I have a drum kit set up and I uh, do a lot of recording up here, but I also do a lot of practicing, getting ready for uh, any of the tours that we do or uh, any of the studio records that we're about ready to make. So, uh, that being said, I wanted to uh, introduce a, a new friend of mine, which is the Korg Beat Lab. Uh, it's a great little device comes with a great little stand mount, and I'm going to sh uh, just show you real quick how that works, which is a suction cup, um, very inventive um, and unique. And this is the Korg Beat Lab, which is a click track box that basically uh, gives you the ability to practice uh, along with the click track and uh, do variations with the click track um, to expand your playing, and it's just a great practice tool. So I like to use this when I'm warming up um, before a show or when I'm warming up to go in the studio, or just on my own time, when I'm at home practicing and having fun with myself, uh, I like to use the Beat Lab as well. So, uh, it's a great box, and it mounts strictly to the stand by a suction cup. Um, and, we'll get it plugged in here, so it's ready to go. Uh, simple exercises I like to start with to warm myself up. Um, uh, I like to keep it simple in the beginning, and then expand on that as I go, but today, I just want to show you some kind of simple patterns that I do, and then I'll incorporate the Beat Lab and show you how I play with the click track um, using that. Uh, so anyway, simple patterns that I do, starting with single stroke rolls and incorporating a few uh, little things into that, uh, but it gets me going. generic tempo for that, uh, to slow that down would be a simple pattern of actual feel on a lot of things that I do. You can use a faster tempo with it or even a slower tempo with it. But that's a good one that I can just play along with. I can watch TV and do that with a practice pad. Um, and then I can incorporate the Beat Lab. If I incorporate the Beat Lab into it, you get this type of feel. This is set to 120 BPM. And I'm going to see how fast that is. So I've got the Beat Lab now set to 90 BPM, which should give me a slow enough response to kind of work into this um, pattern that I just showed you. set at 90 BPM. If I play the same pattern uh, at a slightly higher tempo, it starts to work me, gets me warmed up a little bit more, and that pattern would sound like this. Let's set the tempo to be, uh, let's try 110 BPM, and then maybe we'll go even higher after that. So here's that same pattern at 110 BPM. BPM on the Korg Beat Lab. Uh, I slightly altered the, the, the back end of that a little bit as you could tell, but that's the fun way to have fun with all this. And once again, like I said before, I've really enjoyed playing with the click track for almost 30 years of my career of being in the band Queensryche, and then also with the other projects that I do. 
And it's just really been a great tool for me to learn uh, how to expand what I do and get a great timing and a feel and everything. And once again, the Korg Beat Lab is just a great box that generates really amazing click tracks. And it's so flexible and easy to use. Uh, you know, you can do so many things with it. So now let's try that same pattern that I just did. Let's really goose it up and see if I can do this. Um, I haven't tried it yet. So let's try, uh, why don't we go up, we're at 110 BPM that we just left off. Let's go up to, uh, let's try 125 BPM. And this is probably going to be pretty fast. Um, hopefully I can keep up with it. Uh, anyway, let's see, let's see what happens when we do that. You can really start to get the blood flowing by playing with uh, some of the higher tempos. But once again, it made it easier for me. Started at a slow tempo, uh, just got some warm-up going on, and then I started to goose the tempo as I went along, and that's kind of a routine that I like to do. Get up to speed, get things kind of cruising, and uh, it warms me up. Once again, it gets me ready to go in the studio, or it gets me ready to go on stage and play a live show. And that requires a lot of energy, so uh, I would really do like to build myself up. So. Uh, once again, the Core Beat Lab, um, a great piece of uh, equipment and a very simple and easy to use piece of equipment. Easy to incorporate into uh, your playing setup um, and uh, it's been a great tool for me. So anyway, um, there's more lessons to come. Keep posted to the Core website. I appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you find as much fun with the Core Beat Lab as I do and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Once again, Scott Rockenfield from Queensryche and the Korg Beat Lab.